While I was finishing my degree at Edwardsville, I was a double major in, in um, theater and English. Um, I wrote a play as part of an um, independent study with, with a, uh, a professor that I, I really liked a lot. And, and he liked the play, he gave me some advice, I did a revision that, that really uh, that really excited me then, and then I really started to think about, about maybe writing instead. And then uh, I showed it, I gave my play to, uh, to my acting teacher who had a contact at Florida State, who was friends with the uh, head of the playwright program there, and he sent it down to him, unbeknownst to me. And, uh, and then my pro, uh, the playwright professor at Florida State, a man named Mark Berman, uh, sent me a letter that said, if you want to do a master's in playwriting, you know, you're, I'd love to have you in the program. And then that, it was one of those moments where, where that just seemed like exactly the right thing to do. Um, my first job in, in television was uh, writing commercials for, uh, for WTVO in Rockford. Uh, and again, that's, I, I think I've, I've been very fortunate that, uh, that it seems like I have stumbled into situations where uh, where where an opportunity has existed. So uh, when I got back from Florida, I thought I'd go. I thought I'd actually apply for unemployment because uh, I didn't have a job. And uh, um, and to get unemployment, then you had to apply with what was called uh, Job Services of Illinois. And to do that, you had to say, well, this is kind of the field I'm. I'm qualified for, so I mentioned that I was qualified in writing and that I had written a little bit for television. And, uh, and then at the time there was an opening that just had, or had, had been created at WTVO. So I had to apply for the job to get unemployment and I, uh, I got the job instead. Oh no, he found Frank's tweezers. There's trouble. <laughs> Frank sure did drive that car good though, didn't he? Frank gets a shot of truth serum up next, and he tells lots of lies. And he horses around with the bad babe. That happens next. Uh, and when I first started teaching here, uh, uh, there would always be some of my students back in 95, 96, 97, when the show had just been on for about two or three years, uh, who would hear my voice and then give me this look like, uh, who, I know that voice, I know that voice! Because, of course, they were traumatized as children, I think their parents made them watch. Hi everybody, I'm Casey Kasem, back with another look at the top moments from Uncle Don's Theater. The show that people hate with all their might, but can't stop watching. And believe me, that's something that I can relate to. Uh, the show started in 1984. Um, at the time, uh, uh, Elvira was very big, and WQRF, where I worked, was an independent television station. They had a lot of uh, what was called a film package, where you would just like syndicated films, but you'd buy, you know, maybe 75 or 80 titles. And, uh, and WQRF at the time had a really extensive horror film library, you know, and all this, like all the great horror films from the 1930s, you know, Frankenstein and Dracula and the Mummy and, and the Werewolf. And so they wanted to, to put together a, a show that they could showcase all these horror movies. And they asked uh, several uh, women that I worked with at WQRF if they would like do a, an Elvira takeoff. Uh, but uh, they weren't interested, so they, uh, they asked me, and I, I created my television alter ego, just a weird dude named Uncle Don. And the idea was that you know, it was like everybody's kind of slightly off uncle. Uh, and, uh, and so it, uh, and my co-host became a uh, stuffed shark that one of uh, my directors brought in one day just because I was looking for weird stuff to, to use as set decoration. And then I started communicating with the shark in a rather high-pitched voice and he with, or in my Don voice and the shark conversed back with me. 
That really is, is uh, all sprang from my marriage to Judy Santa Catarina, who is the uh, director of individual events for our speech team and is our director of the Bachelor of General Studies degree. Television is really a lot of fun. It's interesting work, but but you know, unless you have great aspirations, it, it certainly can be tiring. And I, I thought that I would like to go back to teaching. I had taught for a little while after I had finished my master's work. And, uh, and one Saturday morning, I got a call from the chair of the Department of Communications, uh, the man who hired me, Dr. Richard Johansson. Uh, and, uh, uh, and he asked, there was an opening in some media classes and asked me if, uh, if I'd like to teach. But what I, I love the most about uh, about teaching is is I love being in the classroom with students, and and I find that the energy that students bring to each classroom really I find to be uh, uh, you know very inspiring, and uh, it also helps to keep me very locked in on what I want to do, and I and I just love new ideas that uh, that invariably students bring to the classroom.